Hey folks, I'm Rob, this is Nate, and we are Two Guys on a Ride. Today we're here with our friends at Luther Mankato Honda. Hey, Nathan, I just realized, we switched sides, dude. Usually you're on this side, I'm on that side. What's, what's the deal? No wonder why I feel better. Oh, <laughs> we're mixing things up. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you notice that we are two guys in a ride. In a ride. Okay, gotcha. Pun intended, yeah. folks. <laughs> This is a 2019 Honda Pilot, and this trim is the Elite trim. For 2019, they've smoothed out the 9-speed transmission. There's been a few minor styling tweaks, and, this and the Honda Sensing suite of safety and technology is standard across the board. The bold front grille features an aggressive chrome layout that integrates beautifully with the available LED headlights. The elegant smooth lines and aerodynamic exterior styling of the Pilot is a combination of style and utility, helping the Pilot achieve 19 miles to the gallon city, 27 miles to the gallon highway. The Pilot is offered in five primary trim levels, LX, EX, EXL, Touring, and Elite. All models are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine producing 280 horsepower and 262 foot-pound of torque. A six-speed automatic transmission is standard for most trims, while a nine-speed transmission comes with Touring and Elite models. Front-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is available for all models. However, it is standard on the Elite. The Elite trim comes standard with all the extras of the other trim levels, but adds captain chairs, automatic wipers, power folding mirrors, a panoramic sunroof, a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, and a wireless charging pad. The exterior styling of the Pilot is a combination of style and utility. The large doors and comfortable seat height make it easy to enter and exit the Pilot. Third row access is enhanced with a single button release for tilt and slide second row. The bold exterior styling of the 2019 Honda Pilot shows off how Honda is redefining the modern family SUV. On the Pilot, with the Touring and Elite trim, you get the 20-inch wheels and tires. On the lesser models, you get the 18-inch standard tires and wheels. And this is the Honda key fob. You can see it's got an emergency hold. It has the rear tailgate release, uh, lock, unlock, and it also, also has the uh, remote start. All you have to do the remote start, press the lock button twice, push and hold the remote start, and there we go. Turn it back off, simply hold it again, and the vehicle stops. Okay, to get into the inside of the Honda, to lock and unlock, you can, you can either use the key fob or just have it on your person. And as you want to get into the car, just place your hand on the handle, push the little black button and hold it, and then you can actually open the door. Now to leave the car, you can walk away again with the key fob and manually lock it or having it on your person. All you have to do is simply push the black button and that locks all the doors. All trim levels of the Pilot come with LED lights. However, the turn signal is a standard incandescent light. Now, if we take a look on the inside of the vehicle, this one also has the underneath the bumper. And you see it, I just closed it back there. That's kind of cool. I didn't mean that, but it happened. So you can see there's the multi-angle rear view camera. And as we go on up the inside, you can see there's the automatic trunk closing or tailgate closing. And as we look inside, you can see there's 16 cubic feet of storage and space available with the third row seat up. When you fold the third row seat down, fold all these down with the second row seats, you're up to 84 cubic feet of storage. 
And another cool thing I really like about the Honda is underneath here, you still have a little bit of storage as well. Oh, that's probably six, eight inches deep where you can store things that you want to be uh, hidden away, camera equipment, something like that on a vacation or you name it. Uh, you've got some cubby storages here as well on the side. And you've got access to your, um, looks like your tools and things here. And to fold the seat back up, simply just grab onto the strap, give it a gentle pull, lift up the headrest, and there you go. You're all set. Show you what that looks like with both seats down. Quite a bit of space there for traveling and going on vacation. Really nice. So we're inside the 2019 Honda Pilot at the Elite trim level, and it's uh, uh, it's got a really nice, uh, again, soft touch plastics on the dashboard. Um, you have got, um, up here in the mirror, you have got your home link, which is a little different location than I'm used to having it. But that's because up here, you've got your door controls uh, for turning them on or off. And then back here, because this has a panoramic, a panoramic sunroof, you can open the shade by with power or close it with power. Uh, up here, you've also got your various buttons for um, if you need assistance or if you're establishing a, a link with Honda Link. Over here, you've got a conversation mirror slash sunglass holder. You just tilt it up again and you have your conversation mirror. Reading lights on either side. You've got dual illuminated vanities. You also have the very nice feature that I really like of having being able to slide. So if I put this against my window, but the sun is over here, I can extend that. And it's on both sides, driver and passenger. This comes with a, a 10 way power driver's seat. Um, and it has uh, one, one of the really cool things uh, right down here. If you look at my phone for a second, it's charging. So let me remove my phone and show you why. It's got a wireless charging mat built right into it. Um, so this, I, I love that. That is just really cool. And same the as. Honda Pilot comes standard with the Honda Sensing Suite. So you get your collision mitigation, your road departure mitigation, your lane departure mitigation, your lane, keep, lane keeping assistant, and then your braking assistant, and then you have also uh, blind spot monitoring. Now, like in the Ridge Line, the blind spot monitors are these little squares on the mirror. A couple of the differences that I've noticed in here, um, we've got the shift paddles, so you've got, you can shift manually right here if you want. Um, talk about shifting. If you look down here, it's the most interesting shift combination um, that, that I think I've ever seen. So park is simply, here, let me, uh, let me get it restarted here a minute. Uh, park, of course, just push. Reverse is just a pull back. Okay, neutral, so another push. Oh, I should talk about the camera real quick while we're there. You, you've again got the three different viewpoints, a little bit closer, a little bit wider view, and a narrow right behind your truck. So if you need a, if you're back up to a trailer, um, great tool to have. If you are in these modes, you turn the wheel. This is a, these are dynamic lines so that they twist and show you where you're going to end up as you, you know, if you continue in, in that turning radius. You have a two position memory seat on the driver's side. You've got your uh, fuel tank release down here, kind of like you do on the ridge line, and a trunk release. Standard window controls and door locks. Okay, so then over here, you have got um, your mirror buttons. So left and right, but you can, you can adjust them, but then if you go over here, you've got power folding mirrors left and right. And you push it again to make them go out, which I like. You've got an e econ button if you want to drive economically that helps you visually see on the dashboard. 
what um, how it's going. If you're driving economically or not, I don't think I'd ever drive with that mode on. I'm not sure I'd ever read anything on mine. Uh, then down here, kind of like other Ridgeline, you've got some of the safety features turning on and off. You've got your parking sensors. Okay, you've got your uh, collision avoidance uh, system, and you've got your lane departure system. Okay, and then traction traction control on or off. Yeah. And uh, this is the first thing I want to show you because I'm just like a lights and button guy. So if you check out the center dash here, as I start it up, you get like a Star Wars kind of a thing going on on that screen. Now that's just cool. Whoever designed that, kudos. All right, so up here on the, on the steering wheel, um, your, your home key here will bring up this center screen of things you can do, and then you can control... Um, by using the usually up and down arrows. So like if you want to see your trip computer, you just go down one and press enter. And they all kind of work the same way. Uh, you can look at your the, where the torque is in, uh, in your all-wheel drive system, access your phone, your navigation, what's playing right now as far as music or media, your maintenance. So then you get, to, you know, tire pressure, oil life, that kind of stuff. And you can always go back with this button. You've got your uh, phone on and phone off and your voice command like we had in the ridge line where you can, like, for instance, tell your fan to turn on higher or lower. Um, you got volume control for uh, any kind of media over here. And then you've got your heated steering wheel. And that's but this time the button's right up here. And you've got your uh, lane, um, staying in the middle of your lane button right here. Um it gives you the kind of the same visual that we had um, in the ridge line. Mm -hmm. All right, so one of the, one of the differences um, that I noticed here in the 2019 Honda Pilot is the physical on-off and volume control knob, um, and that, it just doesn't exist on all eight-inch screens for Honda. And this was this was brand new this year, so um, this is a nice feature. So you can just manually grab that and change the volume. Oh, it or also does a source switch. We're kind of seeing what this has. I'm going to go back to the home screen, um, but you've got your basic apps. Um, you've got rear entertainment, so you can go in here, and we don't have anything hooked up, but there are, you can have stuff on, on uh, over Wi-Fi connection if you want. You can, there's a Blu-ray player down here that you can use. Um, so you can, you can hook up a little server and put media on there and then draw from that if you want to. You've got Android and Apple CarPlay. If you hook in with the, your phone like we did, if you want to see more about that, take a look at our review of the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. And, and we go into a little bit more detail on, on how that exactly works. One of the, another interesting feature this has is, and I'm going to find it in a minute, Cabin Talk. So if your kids are in the back with these on, um, all you have to do, and you can hear, I don't know if you can, but it's coming through the, the truck speakers right now. I'm going to turn those off. <coughs> but if the kids are wearing earphones, you can talk to them. It'll interrupt their media, <laughs> and they can hear you. This is very much what it's like to be on an airplane, and the pilot comes over the intercom, and everything gets muted while the pilot talks. That's exactly what this does. Allows you communication whether the headsets are on or not. All right, the, the other thing I want to mention really quickly is this Honda link, and I didn't have time to get into that on the, uh, the Ridgeline. It had the same feature. Honda link is like an app. It runs on your phone, and if you have kids or if you use your truck for a business, it's got some really nice features. In addition to unlocking and locking your car, remote starting it, it'll allow you to set geographical barrier. So you could say um, the truck can drive within a five mile radius of our business. And you can just right on your phone, set the range. And anytime the vehicle leaves that, you're notified. You can also set a speed limit warning or a setting. And if the driver exceeds that speed limit, then you are sent a notification. Okay. You also have a, a way to in, um, delete all your information and all, all your media information, your phone information, that kind of gets stored in here as you use it in case it gets stolen. There's a way to delete that right away. There's also a contact for, a link for Honda right on there that you can contact them to inform them as well.
All right, so sitting in the second row seats, because there are three rows of seats in this vehicle, a couple of things that I noticed. Uh, first of all, I've got lots of room between my knees and the front. And again, I'm about five foot 11 and a half inches. Uh, I got a lot of headroom right here between myself and the pan panoramic roof. You've got some unique features in here. You got two, you know, what I would call a traditional um, seat pockets. However, in each one, there's an extra pocket that's just for holding the multimedia remote. So it doesn't get lost under anything. Taking a look up here, you're gonna see the 10 inch screen that comes standard. And uh, you got a speaker system in here. And of course you can run it through your earphones which brings me down to here. Your second row seats have three stage heating. You have your own climate control adjustments that you can make. Okay? And then your earphones plug in here. You've got a volume control for them here, as well as two 2.5 amp USB outlets. Then you have an HDMI plug-in, and then you've got uh, a 150 watt um, plug-in back here as well. Okay, down here, Honda's even put in floor vents, which I can tell you from, I know you can't feel it, but I can, they're quite active. I can really feel that heat pumping out there. If you also notice that the floor is really flat, it's just a slight raise here, like maybe a, a, a half an inch or something, but it is extremely flat. And then in the center, you've got a, a little storage area here, some cup holders here, cup holders in the door, and some more storage in the door itself. Right. Both rear seats do come with armrests, which is nice. You can also, of course, recline your seat. Okay, so to get this, the second row of seats to go forward so you can sit, you just simply press this button, and then you just grab the seat and pull it forward. Now, what you may notice is that it has the same button on the back of the seat. So the rear passenger can push that to get out easily. Okay. So one of the features I noticed in the back here is even in the third row, there is an air vent, okay? This air vent will twist around and then of course will move. So you can direct your heat or your air conditioning anyway, in addition to having several cup holders. So here we are in the 2019 Honda Pilot and we are taking it for a test drive, finally. We're going yeah. for a ride? We are going for a ride, we're two we're guys in a ride. In and and a ride. Yes. Oh, okay. Two guys at a turn signal right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, here we go. Wow. I like the shift paddles, to tell you that. got so many gears in there I forget where I'm at fortunately as it shifts it tells you which which gear it's in but this is an uh, eight-speed transmission this should be the nine speed in the elite oh wait a minute so you it's got seven and D that would be your seven eight now one more there's yeah should but then D would be nine. Oh, it is yeah, it yeah. said nine and then it went okay yeah, yeah. So it is nine speed. Okay. So yeah. Sorry. So this is the nine speed transmission. So the touring is the, then the elite. Uh, both have standard nine speed. All the others have the six speed transmission. It's very responsive. I like it when you shift it. It'll show you like D one, D two, D three. You know, all the way up to nine or drive in the final gear. Very quiet. It is a heavier vehicle. It feels like a heavier vehicle and meaning that even as well as other vehicles that we've driven and test driven and reviewed, uh, it just feels solid and you can oh, feel the solid. extra weight, yeah. but in a good way, not that it's sluggish or lagging, but that you just feel solid and secure. Yeah, I, I would concur with that. What's the uh, safety features on this vehicle, some of them? So th this one has a whole, the, whole, the whole set of Honda Sensing uh, Safety, the suite, Honda wow. Sensing Suite. So um, basically that is collision mitigation, lane departure. Um, the adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control, your blind spot monitoring, um, your lane keeping assist. Um, Did you say road departure mitigation? Yes. Yep, that. 
Plus yeah. all the air, airbags. I mean, it's a myriad of airbags oh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. You've got the anti-lock brakes. Uh, it's just, uh, you feel like you're in a nice, safe cocoon. And it's just, oh, there he goes. We're going to punch it. Holy cow. Well, that sounds like one of their F1 uh, <laughs> race cars there. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of their um, technology from their racing uh, lineage has been built into all of the Honda cars anyway. That had a nice sound. It had, a, it had a, it kind of a mean little snarl to didn't, it. Didn't it didn't sound like a family hauler. No, not at that point. It's all I meant business. You know, we got some wind outside today, being that it's a little uh, a little windy outside. But in the vehicle, you don't really hear that. It's completely muffled, especially for an SUV that has all this volume inside. You think you would hear every little bit of road noise, but not here. You're you're very isolated. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I got to turn that heat. <laughs> the tree wheel heater off. And my hands are heating up. Yeah, this is this is very nice. Not a lot of sound coming through. There's good. Yep, steering wheel feels good and firm. Um, you don't feel it being as soon as you push one way or the other, you get a sort of a feedback. So you don't feel like yeah, I'm not steering that much. <laughs> Whoa, getting dizzy here. Yeah, but no, it has a nice, it has a nice firm feel. I mean, it feels, it feels kind of light, but the minute you start to turn, you get, a, you know, it's like a little resistance set. It feels really good. It feels like you got a solid. It's going to stay solid. So it's, it's nicely assisted, but it's not overly assisted on the power steering. Well, if you want to be technical about it, <laughs> say that. Well, you know, it is a car we use, so way maybe we should be a little technical sometimes instead of, <laughs> instead of like, oh, it feels so good. Well, you know, sometimes it just does feel good, right? Pardon me, folks, but sometimes it is such a nice ride that it is so comfortable that we get a little lazy. And instead of being maybe as articulate and maybe as uh, on point with its tactile and handling, feel good is pretty good. Yes. <laughs> feel good is real good. All right, so we're going to we're gonna switch... Uh, driving spots here and Rob's going to take over places and uh, we're going to switch places switch places we're going to switch places <laughs> I'm going to open the door and throw Rob out right got the handles up here holding oh, on oh yeah, yeah that, holding on I didn't have time to unscrew those this time <laughs> right that's kind of good because as we said earlier we are at a dealership today and they might want their car delivered I'm pretty sure they want their car delivered back in one yeah piece. probably probably that one time before you lost your screws, but it's not the first time your screws have been loose. <laughs> I'm not sure they've ever been tight. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull over here and let Rob see if he can. You what know. is that game you play at the stop? It's stoplight, right? When you stop at a light and everybody gets out and switches places and everything. Fire okay, drill. Okay, or fire drill. Okay, we're gonna play fire drill here, folks. Hold on. We'll, we'll be see. Right back. Just let it run. I'm you just gonna let Rob it. get out. That I'm gonna take off. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Well, folks, this is not yesterday's SUV. I can tell you that just already. It is, wow, so responsive. You don't feel, I mean, there's a little body roll, but after all, this is a pretty heavy vehicle oh, and it is an SUV. Though. No, it's I've very. I've seen a way, I mean, this is. It's very controlled in its handling, its drive, its, uh, you know, I'm I, not that I'm in a, a uh, an automobile, a car, but it feels just as planted and it feels almost as good as being that low to the ground in a car where you know you don't yeah. have as much body roll. Nice smooth ride. I'm cruising along at uh, 56 miles an hour. Um, you know, our, in our, the 60s zone. In the 60 zone. Well, yes. I'm going a little slow because it's a little slower out here right now. There's more traffic. But, um, you know, fuel mileage is hanging in right in there in the uh, range that it says. And uh, this is just amazing. The navigation screen is beautiful. It's I really like that large street display. It's very crisp, That's, too. Good graphics it on is. there. Um, it, uh, this is powered by Garmin. The GPS is. But remember, if you want to use Apple Play or Android Auto, you can use whatever you have on your phone for uh, maps.
very responsive. The, uh, the acceleration is great. I haven't tried the braking yet. Again, like I said, we're out here on the road and there is traffic, so I don't want to slam all the brakes in front of everybody. But we'll try that as we get closer back to home base and uh, give you an idea of what that's like. Again, the ride, we're going over bump strips out here on the roads and you know they're there. You see them coming and you kind of anticipate feeling them, but they are so muted, you kind of have to look in your rearview mirror to make sure you even just rolled over them. That's a really refined car. I mean, it's... No, I had a Honda... I take it home. I had a uh, Honda Pilot, uh, an 07 yeah, did. Honda Pilot. And this is, uh, it was a wonderful vehicle. Loved it. But this is leaps and bounds. This looks nothing like your 2007. Well, not even. Not, not the interior. Not even like. talking about the looks, but just the ride and the build quality. And I mean, it was a, it's a Honda, so it was a bit great build quality of that 07 for 2007. But to be here at 2019 and to see the materials and the fit and the finish and the quality and the soft touch areas that you put your hands on, the nicely weighted and padded steering wheel, all those things, they, they to me, they say you're in a much more expensive vehicle than than, uh, you, than, you, than you think yes. you, you would get with a Honda. But I think that, that says good things about where Honda is. Mm -hmm. They've really definitely gone upscale and with this vehicle, you definitely feel, and you're being pampered and treated to a, yeah. an ex very, very nice vehicle. And you have features on here that I mean, I just don't see as often. You know, the the, the, the automatic temperature controls in the rear. Um, I don't see those a lot. I, I see rear. I see zones that where you can, you can control climate from the front, but not where the passenger has all the individual controls. Um, well, I think we can agree that to get some of the uh, standard, some of the features that we have in this vehicle, to get some of these and some of the European brands, you would be almost twice the price. So definitely in a European brand vehicle uh, at this price range, you're not going to see all of these features. No. No, th this has, this is back. And it's fun for me to see a wireless charging pad in a car. I've never seen one. This well, that, is my first. That's really cool. Because, and it works. Yeah, because just like your office, you know, they talked about years ago going to the wireless office. And no, look around your, your computer and your office and there's wires running everywhere. And it's gotten to be that bad in vehicle, if you'll notice. Uh, there's wires everywhere. If you want to plug in a navigation or plug in your phone, you got three kids, You want to, everybody wants to plug in. And it turns out you've got a, a bird's nest of wires because everyone is bringing their their uh, deal to plug in and it gets to yeah. be a pain so to have something like that that's wireless phone charging that's fantastic yeah it's really nice and and you know it's got a little velcro on there so if you want to put something on the outside of your case and help your phone stick it would oh be it fine. does a little spot there um, yep okay but i'll tell you what it's also a non-stick surface no, it I is mean, a, not a non it's a, it's a sliding kind of, surface. Right, it's a little it's not really tacky to where a lot of stuff's gonna stick to it, but if you put a no, phone no. on it, it'll keep your but phone. But it's from it's definitely around. you know, it's made out of rubber, so yep. your phone doesn't really slide out anyway. I had mine on there, um, and it didn't go anywhere. Well, not that you'd really see it in this vehicle, but let's say if you had to take a really, really sharp turn turn one way or the other, yeah. the nice thing about that, that isn't gonna wind up in the floor. Uh, after the turn right. because of that a uh, little bit of a tacky uh, surface there that's going to hold your phone in place. Yeah. That's, a, that's just really, that's a really nice feature. I should also mention these have illuminated uh, cup holders as well in blue. Well, folks, uh, we're about to the end of our ride, but I got to just to summate, uh, to summarize what we've done here today. This is a 2019 Honda Pilot. This is the uh, Elite trim, which is a top level trim. This thing is full of bells and whistles. It is absolutely a luxury vehicle and it's at a great price and it's just a fabulous car. And if I could afford one, I would have it because it's so comfortable. I can't imagine how nice this would be on a highway oh, going I'm on an extended, an extended trip. I am extremely impressed with this. And thing. we'd like to thank our friends at Luther Mankato Honda for hosting us today and letting us take a ride in their Honda Pilot. 
And uh, Nathan, I'm not quite sure if we want to go back into the dealership and give it back to them, or maybe we can just take it home with us. Maybe they won't see us if you just drive. We'll drive real slowly out. Oh, quietly. shoot. They know my home address, so I guess we oh, better. Oh. Anyway, folks, I'm Rob. I'm Nathan. And this is Two Guys, Guys in a ride. ride. Hey, don't forget to take a moment to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and leave your comments below. And tune in next time to see what we're going to be reviewing then. Until then, get out there and go take a ride. Compared to, I mean, we're. All right, where do I, what am I doing? Drive? Drive. Oh, drive. Drive, stupid. It's the one that says D. Are we but going? it is we in are an odd location. I yeah, mean, this, this. It is in a different location. Than, well, they've than changed I'm, it. Not instead location, of, it's just. I'm used to grabbing a handle when the handle doesn't stick up. I'm well. We have P R N and D S. Does D S mean drive stupid? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> there, I put it in drive you, stupid. Yes. <laughs> no, I would imagine it stands for sport. Oh, okay. that's a, that's just really that's a really nice feature. I should also mention these have illuminated uh, cup holders as well in blue, um, which is nice. I don't know how many times I've been driving in the in the night, and you take your cup out or can or whatever and go to put it back and sometimes there's a little bit of a hunt and peck to find it <laughs> you maybe know that's where, just because i'm getting older are you but, saying you're not sure where to put your can yeah that's well sometimes <laughs> i walked right into that one didn't I? yes you did <laughs> i'm not even sure if illuminated uh, little lights <laughs> light and would uh, holders me. would help you with that nathan it may not <laughs> sometimes it's just beyond hope